Hi, my name is Ryan, and this is my VLAN video. Okay, so on my last video, I got asked a question about VLANs. In this video, I'm going to explain a little bit about VLANs and show you how to configure one. First, what's a VLAN? The term gets thrown around a lot in my department, and I think it deserves at least a little clarification for anyone who works with networks or network devices. VLAN is short for Virtual Local Area Network. Let's take a look at this switch here and it's one I'm working on, it's a Cisco 3750 Metro switch and the benefits we get from a VLAN network are first segmentation of your broadcast domains even on the same physical switch right? and the second is the ability to spread the segments across multiple switches that's especially important when you're talking about network scalability let's talk about segmentation out of the box all Cisco switch ports are assigned to a single VLAN that's VLAN 1, meaning I can start plugging in devices and uh, as long as they're on the same IP subnet they can start communicating. This also means that any broadcast will be forwarded to all the ports on this switch. Now in a small switch like this um, broadcast to every port really isn't an issue but in a bigger environment, big environments where you have you know 6500 models and uh, multiple switches across sites uh, you really don't want broadcasts flying across your WAN or um, even around the data center when you, you're talking about thousands of switch ports, right? So what I'm going to do is segment this switch and we're just going to make the first 12 ports on a VLAN I'm going to call VLAN 148 and the last 12 on VLAN 149. Let's jump into the configuration and what we're going to do first is create this interface, a virtual interface called VLAN 148 Okay, so interface VLAN 148 and we're going to assign this VLAN, this virtual interface, an IP address IP address 192.168 and if you remember my IP address is 148 and we're going to give this host address of .15 24-bit mask Let's get out of there and let's just show show run interface VLAN 148. And this is my IP address. We're going to create another uh, VLAN interface called 149. And we'll give that IP address 192.168.149.15. You can give it any IP address you want. I just like picking 15 for the switch. Let's get into config mode. Zero 01. Get into the interface configuration. And uh, the first command you would put is switch port. The next one is going to be switch port mode access. And this is where we assign the VLAN switch port switch port access VLAN 148 let's show that interface again show run interface as 101 I see it's on switch access VLAN 148 let's do a show interface status and you see in that column for VLAN we've got it on 148. This PC can now ping. It can now ping. Uh, should be able to ping that switch on VLAN 148. Just the VLAN 148. And we won't be able to ping the 149 um, VLAN address. So let's do a ping 192.168.148. Dot 15 and we get a reply and just to prove to you we will not be able to see 149.15 because there is no router and we're not routing we're bridging between the two VLANs okay so let's make every other port uh, did I say 1 through 12 on VLAN 148 so now we're going to go config T interface and its range 
see the one zero one dash. Let's go on through twelve. Switch port. And switch port mode access. And just do switch port access. I can type 148. And now let's show interface status. And you see 1 through 12 is on VLAN 148. Let's finish the job and put 13 through 24 on 149. Interface range again 1, 0, 13 through 24, now 48. <coughs> specify fast ethernet 1013 324 and just do that switch port command mode access and we just do VLAN 149 and you see it says creating VLAN 149 because you can create those VLAN interfaces um, but it doesn't really create it in the VLAN database, which is a topic for later. It doesn't create that entry until you actually assign ports to it. That's why we got this message. So what did we just do? What did we accomplish? Let's look at the illustration again. We created two VLANs, 148 and 149. Ports 1 through 12 are on 148. 13 through 24 are on 149. And you can look at it this way. We've sliced this switch up, this single physical switch, into two logical ones. So VLAN 148 and 149 act as if they were on separate switches. Any broadcast coming into a port on VLAN 148 will only be forwarded to switch ports on that same VLAN. And the same with 149. Now, we, we did it really organized where consecutive ports are in the same VLAN and, and I kept it really neat but you can really have every other port on 148 or 149 you can have one port on 148 and the rest on 149 um, any mix right and that allows you to basically reconfigure the network and re relocate uh, relocate devices onto another virtual switch virtual LAN uh, without moving the cables and that gives us a lot of flexibility in the next video we'll talk about spreading these VLANs across multiple switches we'll talk about trunking too we'll get to that uh, but for now if you guys have any questions feel free to post them or send me a message I will get to them if you have ideas for other topics we can cover um, I'll look into it and see what we can learn